This is my daughter here, and she has light blue eyes and frequently suffers from red eyes, especially if her photograph is taken inside with a flash. The light just bounces off the back of her eye and reflects the blood from the blood vessels back into the camera. So here you can see we have two red eyes. Now we could use Photoshop's tools to go ahead and just click it real simple, but if we want more control of it, we want to dial it in, uh, we can use the method I'm fixing to show you. I'm going to come up to the background layer and simply drag that background layer onto the new layer icon. So I'm going to click on the background layer and drag that down to the new layer icon. You can see it just creates a duplicate of the layer. Always a good idea. Non-destructive editing. I'm going to come over to her eye. I'm going to zoom in to her eye by simply activating the zoom tool and dragging a marquee around the eye. Then I'm going to get my lasso tool. Click and hold down. You can see there's the lasso tool. I'm going to be careful around the eyelid area and then you can kind of go in you don't have to be as careful in this region you just want to make sure you get all of the red there so I just made a rough selection around her eye I'm going to hold down my space bar on my keyboard and drag over while holding down my space bar to her other eye now you can see I have my lasso and if I was to go ahead and lasso this other eye right now it would deselect the other selection I just created and make a new one but we want to add to that selection so I'm going to hold down my shift key you can see when I hold down my shift key my lasso gets a little plus sign next to it and that way I can add to the selection you can also come up to the top and you can see right here there are different selection options I can just click that button right there and that adds to the selection as well and kind of locks it into place. I like just leaving it on the normal selection mode, the new selection mode there, and holding down my shift key. Now while holding down the shift key again, I'm going to make a rough selection around the outer edge of the eye. And then I'm going to be a little bit more careful around the eyelids. There we go. And the reason we're going to do this is I'm going to get my zoom tool and zoom out here. The reason why we did this was because her skin tones have a lot of red in them as well and we don't want to affect any of the red in her skin. So now we're going to adjust the red eye by using an adjustment. So I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue saturation. Now the quickest way to get there is to hit, as you can see, the shortcut key control U and control U is going to open up the hue saturation dialog box. From here where it says Ed, edit master. I don't want to do the master because that's going to affect the reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, and magentas all together. I simply want to concentrate on the reds. And you can see as I hit the reds, I'm now going to go to my saturation slider and drag that all the way down and completely desaturate the eyes. And I can see I missed some pinks or a little bit more purples, violets inside the, the eye there. So I'm going to get this little plus eyedropper. I'm going to come down and click in that to select that as well. Now that is about as good as the auto tools do in Photoshop Photoshop Elements. Now we have where we gain more control is in the lightness slider. Once we click and have our selection there and it's turned this kind of light gray, I want to darken that up to get a nice dark pupil. So I'm going to go my lightness slider, drag that down. You can see how much control I have. That looks good right about there. So we're not stuck with just that light gray. We can use that lightness slider to darken the pupils. Get that nice dark looking pupil. And we have much more manual control over it. You go ahead and click OK and Control D to deselect. And there you have it. I'm going to hide real quick the background copy so you can see there's the red eye and there's the fixed eyes. It's a lot more control using the manual method. So if you had problems where the Photoshop built-in red-eye tools weren't working as well as you have liked using this manual method can give you a much more control over that uh, red-eye. This is again Scott with TutorialStop.com.